Hey guys, homesteading cheaper by the dozen. We're working on getting our batter boards put up and squaring up the shop. We got our first row of posts put in. And can you boys tell me how you can square up a building and make sure it's square? A level a square building? What? I said people tend to do that. How can you square the building? You know, Jordan, don't you? Middle wall. Huh? Middle wall. All right, come here, boys. I'll show you all some tricks. Hayden, mm -hmm. you can video. All right, the easiest way. Can you hear me, Hayden? Mm-hmm. Come a little closer, go that way. We've got this stop we've got this run that we know we lined it up with the fence out there so we know it's exactly straight the way that we want it to be so we're going to use this for our control and we're going to start here and the easiest way to do it is if you measure three four and then five in a triangle if you measure three four five you're going to have a perfect square so you can measure this one three foot there four foot there and five foot down and you can move this string over until you get it exactly on five feet Isaiah you'll get that hammer and whenever you have exactly on five feet then these two will be exactly square to each other so then we're gonna we're gonna go Ethan come here we're going 32 feet by 40 feet so we can do three four five and then we can um, we have this one and this one square we can go over 32 feet run another string line do three four five off there and it should come out to perfect 32 feet between the two strings down at that end so let's try it out and see how it works and you can multiply it you could do 30, 40, 50 if you want to do, if we wanted to have it like it, almost exact, we could go 30 foot here, 40 foot there, and 50 foot down. Or you could do 6, 8, 10. Let's do 6, 8, 10. Caleb, go down 6 feet. Caleb, yep. and right exactly on 6 feet, make a mark. Obviously, boys, you don't want to move the strings around while you're doing this. You want the strings untouched. All right. Now, Jordan, you get the tape and the string, or the um, pencil. So what's your measurement going to be, Jordan? Yeah. Yeah. Three, four, five, and we're going six, eight, ten. So your measurement needs to be his was six, you go eight. Don't touch the string. No, hard. Yeah, exactly on eight foot. Bring that hammer here. All right. Take this to him. Ethan, come here. Yes, sir. Hey. Okay. Make sure that y'all are. Look, you can't. Can't touch the string. And hold it right there. Don't touch the string. All right, pull yours out, Jordan. Pull yours out to your mark. Where's your mark? It's right here. Okay. You should have 10 feet there. 
going over this way. Come out, come closer, Aiden. Be right where you need to be, Caleb. Okay, so don't touch the string. See how we're almost an inch over? So what does that tell us the string needs to do? That end of the string needs to go to the north that way. All right, I'm gonna move the string, Jordan. You keep holding right here until this right here is lined up on that notch on 10 foot, just like that. Okay. Make sure you're off the string. Uh, keep going. More? Uh, a little more. Uh, <laughs> keep going a little more. That's good. Right there. Yeah, I think. Huh? I think. <laughs> Everybody double check and make sure you're off your string. It's like more open now. Is that where you need to be? Oh, I'm tight on you. Alright, Gordon, you oh leg touching the string? Nope. Okay. Caleb, you're perfectly in the corner. Alright. So, three, four, five, six, eight, ten. Whatever you want to make it. Um, any multiples of that and we should be perfectly square. And then, when we do the rest of the building, we'll do, we've got this, these two sides done. We'll go over there and do that run out there. Then we'll measure there and double check. And then we're gonna do what, boys? All the way across the building. Pulse? We're gonna do a diagonal. Just for safety, we'll, we'll measure from that corner to there. Sorry, I'm panning too fast. Um, trying to remember not to make everybody seasick. And then we'll go from that corner over to this corner. And the measurement should be exactly the same. Measuring the diagonal. And we may have to tweak it just a little bit just to square it from there. But I tell you, square up a building. Anybody got any questions? All right, so what's the measurement for pulling a square off the off of two lines? Six, eight, ten, or, Six, eight, ten, or three, four, five. five. Right. What are these boards here called? Boards. Nobody listening? <laughs> Batter boards. Oh, batter boards. Hey, Dad. Yeah. At least oh. that's what I always called them. They may be, I guess they're technically stakes, but. How far apart All are right. you doing the poles? Eight feet apart. All right, guys, that's how you square up a building. Get out of the mud, girls. Like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Y'all have a good day.